Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to SLRR. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm going to be doing intros on 90% of the videos you're, go you're going to be seeing in the next week, two weeks, because I'll be going to vacation from the 20th to the 28th, so I won't be able to record anything, so I'm going to be trying to pre-record as many videos as I can. Uh, I'm probably going to be uploading, uh, not every day, but every other day, because I can, you know, that, that way there will be more content. Um... Also, SLRR injected by Vlad or just injected 1.4. Uh, I'll try and maybe tomorrow I'll try and get a video for you guys on that. But uh, right now it's Friday. But I'll be I don't I'll be honest. Some personal life things happened, and I don't know if I'll have any time to do anything uh, uh, anything for that. But uh, for now we're just going to be playing on the the old 1.2, although they want to play on the new one. And I don't know how much of the progress I do to this car. I can tran tra transfer to the other one because it's a, like I said, it's a completely different game. But, yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what we can do with the... Okay, that's a single turbo HKS filter. Why can't I install my, f my filter? My filter? Oh, because I installed the, the trumpet. The, inta the intake scoop. nice um, it's a bit strange that the engine is not really fitting the car but whatever okay let's see if, if, if it will start no we are not starting Houston I think we have a problem hmm where's the block okay 2000 rpm that seems a bit excessive Idle fucking um, oh fuel rail fuel maybe it's the fuel that's uh, no why is it not starting though we're at low boost so car should in theory run yeah we've got power levels 478 horsepower but that's on the low boost so you're okay there we can uh, change that up um. Okay, let's try again. Oh, they just... Okay, okay, that's good. That is good. That is good, okay. Nice. So, um, let's just drop these parts. Um, how much is these? Uh, what else? Okay, now, essentially, we don't need that. Either. Okay, I guess we do kind of need it, because... Huh. Okay, let's f just fix this one. That's just to sell it. To, n to fix this part. $300, man. That costs a lot of money. Okay, so we got one at 81%. Um, 31%. These these parts are... Okay, let's sell these parts. For two grand. That's good. And... Um, let's start building this car up from nothing. Because it's currently nothing both tail lights are at nine percent uh shit dude we don't need these parts nine percent that's too low and i'm gonna be replacing all of these parts too but let's go and uh, do some slidey boys all right let's see i still got those sad ass tires so oh this chassis is Okay, we got a bit of understeer there. This car is definitely not as good as the Miata. So I think I'm gonna make this my uh, daily drift car, and I'm going to buy probably buy a chassis of a MX-5 because honestly, that's th that that car drifted so well. Uh, I'm gonna boost up the power because we definitely we will definitely. be a bit better with more power just so it, but we need to make it with enough power before it starts degrading the engine oh yeah the car is the car is very floaty it feels like you're on ice I guess my tires are not all there anymore and these these rims are very small for that might I don't know it needs to stiffen up I need to stiffen up the chassis it feels like I don't know man 
also drifting in the dark with no uh, with no lights is very meme like yeah you, you guys can see just like it's not it's not the best but it's not too bad we need more power though definitely need more power 400 horsepower in real life is more than enough but this is SLRR where horsepower not all horsepower is equal you can have like a 2000 horsepower RB26 and it'll be fucking trash compared to a uh, 100 it's like 200 horsepower uh, fucking something else I definitely need to if I stiffen up the chassis that might not stiffen up if I fix up the chassis that might actually help because the car isn't too bad like it's smooth it's smooth but it's you gotta be very careful you also you can't be too precise you gotta be doing these wide wide sweeping turns because it's not it's not very precise as a car oh yeah oh yeah you, you you can't you can't be too precise that's the problem like I didn't expect to hit that wall oh man why did my MX-5 die I mean obviously this is currently pretty shit compared to an MX-5 but to my MX-5 to an actual MX-5 in real life this is fucking got tears fucking way tons of tears above of an MX-5 okay that's a lot of understeer all of a sudden what the fuck happened? Well, I guess we lost one wheel. Um, can I finish? Just so I can get the money? Well then. This is fucking funny as shit. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't try drifting, but... These 10,000 points will help. Man, what is... Oh. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm drifting with, without one wheel. Yeah, 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 no. Uh, left, left turns. I'm not even hitting the wall. Oh my god. Yeah, turns to the left are not good. But if you're drifting to the uh, to the right, like the car is... I don't even know. Like here? Oh yeah. When it's a right-hand turn, drifting is possible. This is funny as fuck, dude. But the engine is already yellow. I am maybe revving it too much. I will lower the, le the rev line. I, rev I will lower the rev line, but still get more power out of the car. Two grand, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to be pumping out these videos like as fast as I can. Um, okay, well... In any case, these tires are, uh, actually these wheels and tires are pretty much useless at this point. We don't need them, but they're too, too small for the car. Especially since I lost one set of them. Wow, that's only $500, damn. So we got some serious damage here, and uh, I guess I need to disassemble the whole car. And then rebuild from there, and you've got 10 grand, so we should be able to probably do something well as something well something good with this car uh, obviously this this crash is not good but this is all fixable I'm pretty sure uh, I'm going to strip the car it's already very damaged either way the chassis is at zero percent so we in any case I need to stiffen up the chassis um, so we'll be doing a disassembling episode next episode and reassembling episode which will always also be next episode because it doesn't really take that that long uh, Oh yeah, it's got twin exhausts, but we don't do that. That that that, that um, we don't do this shit like that. Twin exhaust, quad exhaust, or twin exhaust RX7. Come on, get technically it's twin exhaust, but I'm I'm talking side to side. I don't know.
don't even know what I'm saying, man. 